found in her maelstrom eyes. Darkness. A hand pressed in yours, tugging you along. There are things in this unnatural darkness. They slither behind you so quickly, more quickly than you. You move through the absolute black, whipped sore by unseen tendrils. Then, suddenly, in the distance, a streak of red, as if a gargantuan dragon opens a solitary eye. You run. You run with all you have. The red eye widens. A solitary sun. Run, red, run, then white. Are you seeing the new scene? Nope. Nope. Well, I'm, in, I'm in a new location. Oh. A lazy red once more. A desert camp at sunset. Amid the carpets and perfumed waters stands a lizard dreamer dressed in royal silks. Thank you, Bahara, for leading our son through the darkness. Welcome be, Red Prince, to the haven in the horror. Truly is she a daughter of dreams. With a polite gesture, the dreamer bids you make yourself comfortable. Wine and delicacies await. Red Prince, your majesty. I am Brahmos the Wanderer, leader of the House of Dreams and, unbeknownst to you, your greatest champion. Countless times since your birth have I, and so many dreamers with me, foiled the attempts of your enemies to assassinate your royal person. Until we failed. The last demon you summoned, for power's sake and for lust's sake, she was indebted to those who seek your demise. Of this, we had no knowledge. But for the might of your own magic, the House of Shadows would have finally had its way. But for your own awe in your strength, the day would have ended with your death instead of your downfall. Indeed not, Your Majesty. But you live still, and by your own devices. A formidable feat, that much I assure you. All we know is that the House of Shadows seeks to kill you. Their motives are as obscure as their very existence. But I surmise it has something to do with another obscure existence. Hers. Hers? He looks aside, and where his eyes lead, a second figure appears. It is she, the secret of your soul, the unknown woman, as red-skinned as yourself. She who's been in your dreams since the sunburst that was your own dawn. She is change. Just as much as you are. She is the true crown. The true throne. The true empire. Vast as the star's domain. Find me, and I will guide you to her. To Reaper's Coast I'll go, and hide in the mist beneath the hamlet of Driftwood. Come meet me, Kindler. Shaper. Father, and wake. Awake. Free, dang. And I'm awake. That was trippy. Uh, yes. Please, come when you can. Where's he going? Going to the harbor. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, let's loot up this place. I got a dagger in the crossbow. Got a wand here. Hey, there he is. Four to five fire damage. I don't think it'll be any good for you guys. But I'm pretty much loaded because I, I can't take much more with me, so I yeah. sent to faint. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are the stats in the crossbow? Oh. oh. Midnight. Who can uh, identify those? Uh... You can you can uh, you can right click identify it and Fane will use it. But I can I can't. Send it to me then. Plus one huntsman, plus one finesse. Nice. 
It is plus one finesse, minus one movement, plus five accuracy, 20 to 21 damage. Yeah, that's better than my current one. And it has a 20% chance to, like, do something. I can't remember what. Just take crippled. Which isn't bad. Let me take that. Oh, bleed fire. I need bleed fire. I need to bleed fire. Yes. I got bleed fire. So, yeah, this is a darkest timeline. I will say that much. Bane is now overweight. Uh, send to me. Oh, wow, this is really darkest timeline. You want to know why I say darkest timeline? Why? So, you know the guy that was dead up in the area, that Gareth fellow? Kind of. Um, the guy that you were talking to that ended up leaving, you know, he was talking about their leader probably, you know, you had found out about his leader. Yeah, the leader is. was dead, and I told him so. Yeah. So that's Gareth. If he was alive, this place would be a lot more bustling. Uh -huh. There are a lot of people missing. There's a dead Magister out here. There's nothing on him. All right, we need to do some selling. As suddenly as it came, the voice is gone, and you wake from its presence as if from dream-filled slumber. The pond becomes engulfed in a bloody mist that enshrines an auger-like silence. Um, blood cloud. The dead is mixed for it. Something about statue crying about stillborn god thingies. The others wouldn't let me join them for the fight. You should get moving though. They'll need you at their side. Oh, so if you see where I am. This is the other way to get into the area. Yeah, already brought the vines down. Ah, oh, okay. So we really need to get a, find a shop to actually sell at. Well, it's not going to be here from the looks of things. Nope. 
We could always go back to Fort Joy and then teleport back here. Mm hmm. Or, uh, you mean the prison? Yes, the prison. And. Okay. So I am. Alright. I got 1700 gold. I am going to put all these spell books away so that I don't have them clogging inventory for right now. Because I need to sell... I need to sell stuff. Um, you give me a bowl, Metlos? Probably need needs room is what it is. It's probably slightly over encumbered. Oh, so because the way that conversation do it, everyone just dropped dead here. Yep. So like, so all the three of these people that are here that are dead. If you saved Gareth, you would actually be able to save these three. There's so many different choices. Oh, what's that book? It's Tale of the Seven Gods. All right, so I'm gonna mark stuff for where to sell. Oh, um, hold on. Oh, he needs finesse 11 in order to wear those. I guess he can wear those for now. And I think I have something uh, quest relevant. Oh. The Stardust Herb uh, I have uh, in me. Ooh, Stardust Herb. That's actually nice. We can make Pixie Dust. Can I borrow an oil barrel from someone real quick? Uh, that try is something. probably midnight. I have only the poison. Oh, Fane has the Fane has the oil. Sorry, didn't think Fane had it. Oh, and Fane is actually up here with you. There you go. Slow down arrows. Interesting.
All right. I am teleporting back to the prison in order to sell. And I took you with me. No, I teleported too. Oh. I thought I took you with me for some strange odd reason. Who in their right mind would think of a thing like this? Nope. Looks up as you Guess not. <laughs> the hammer got you curious. She nods. Clever lasser. Oh, I don't. People, don't change. By all means, get an eyeful. And Twinkle? Yes. Do we have a multi streaming setup or not? I do in my channel just do exclamation point multi. Well, I don't know if I did set up my pot for it. So... So, Akavian, if you want to follow the um, other two friends from me, Draco and Maglas, You can have um, a sneak peek. The woman looks up as she wiping her butt with a grease blackened hand. And thanks for the photo there. What do you need? Hey, hold it on there tight, ain't it? Last dash boost at least. Okay, I'm done. All right, there is one quest that we have still left here that we can do. Oh? Yeah, because remember the um crazy guy on the beach that gave us his ring that had restoration on it uh, yeah no that we're not using anymore well technically i still have it on me but i've not really used it so yeah do we want to do that quest just finish it up, cool. wrap it up. Okay. Uh, right up this way she ain't coming back. do you notice that there is a magister right up here pick out her name Yarrow. And what did he always say? Oh, Yarrow girl? I can't remember. Well, you'll see. You there, lizard. I'm looking for an inmate. A smallish man, thick spectacles, prone to somewhat eccentric chatter. He wears a large bronze pendant with a dragon stamped into it. Have you seen him? <laughs> you have seen him? Tell me, where was he? And you're... You're very sure it was him. Oh, I'm, you know... I know handing the ring does it, but I wonder if just saying... How... How do you know? Creature? I'm... Okay, so maybe Don't not. Don't disturb me again, unless How you've about... seen me go. You have seen okay, it. so you have to do it. Tell me, okay. where was he? And you're. She you have to do the, the ring. ring <laughs> this can't be. 
You said he was upon the beach, yes? I need to have a look myself. This... This simply can't be. Alright, let's follow her. What other quests have we yet to do? Hold arms. Oh, we gotta find a purging one. Fight! Oh! The leftover magister's here! Ah! Oopsie. Uh, yeah, buddy. You know what? You and your doggo. Magister Yaro in the battle. Yeah, I saw that too. I think the only thing we can do after that is just basically run. And hopefully she just deaggroes. You can one update it. Well, me and Mag, uh, Mag and I can run. And you can. Yep, she just don't like us. Alright, I am looking at. So we're disengaging. Yep, disengage. What do you mean enemies too close? You have to run in order to like run away in order to actually like disengage. So I would say hasty retreat. And then go back as far as you can. I would get out of the fire and then play dead. I am still burning. You'll be fine. Even while burning, you'll be, you can play dead. Because I'm gonna do something to help you out. <laughs> Time for a little rain. Now where's my play dead? Oh wait, now I'm still I'm a human. There we go. Play dead. So far so good. Now it's just the dog. So, we have the dog here. We can handle the dog. The dog survived? Yeah, the dog survived. Okay. 
You should be good to actually uh, be there for the conversation there. Mag. I'm already listening in. Oh. Well, there's actually more when you actually talk to her. But I would probably suggest coming back here because we're about ready to kill the dog. Never mind, we have killed the dog. It's only 200 HP. More stuff to sell later. Okay, here we go in the convo. Yarrow girl. Little Yarrow girl. Grown up, flower headed girl. What have they done? Beast! Watch your mouth, inmate. You're in the presence of an honorable man. She looks at her father and manages a small smile. As am I. Ugh. It's strange. It almost reminds me of the creatures Dallas keeps at her side. Sometimes you hear a kind of muttering beneath their masks she reaches out to touch her father's hand he withdraws it quickly before remembering himself and reaching out to yarrow again i had no idea what a fool <clears throat> i am there were always rumors about the hammer dallas that is what she was doing with the prisoners she hauled off to her fortress why they never joined the rank and file thereafter i suppose I suppose now I know. Wait, before you go. You've helped us a great deal today. Let me help you too. Take this key. I'll show you where you can use it. It opens a door leading into the fort that may help you get out of this wretched place. It isn't too late for you. Not yet. Okay, that's that wrapped up. Mm-hmm. So, shall that? Oh, where, what's that mysterious? Is that what you also found there, Midnight? That mysterious cave over there by the sanctuary. A cave? Yeah. Look on the map. If you pull up the map and you see where the hideout is, uh, where the sanctuary is, there's a mysterious cave over where the, um, where the, uh, salamanders used to be. I don't know. Shall we, uh, shall we go check it out? That's a very conspicuous chest. Where? Oh, I see what you're talking about now. <laughs> 